We have 20 or 30 people tonight at New Hampshire Hospital who do not need to be at New Hampshire Hospital, but there's no place for them to go. On top of that, as of yesterday, there were 52 people statewide in emergency rooms waiting to get into a psychiatric facility. State health officials say these troubling numbers underscore the need for a 10 year mental health plan. We've convened stakeholders across the state. We've set up focus groups. We hired a consultant that would help us develop this plan. Input from the public and those involved in providing care will help shape the plan. Which is to ensure that individuals and families um, who are affected by mental illness can access care and treatment when and where they need it. The Department of Health and Human Services heard from their focus group that more peer support is needed. We have limited youth peer support right now, so we need to expand uh, peer support for youth and for the elderly as well. Mental health professionals as well as those who live with mental illness and their families were vocal about what they'd like to see included in the plan. We wanted to make sure that the public had an opportunity for people that receive mental health services to have an opportunity to hear and see what we're doing and to react to that. The next public session is scheduled for October 1st in Portsmouth. We're live in Keene tonight. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.